All right, guys. Uh, we are live now. Um, I mean, in the sense that we now have commentary for this. So uh, right now we're going to be running you Rockstar Ace, which is Korean. Of course, Rockstar Ace, uh, more known for his Samus, but it looks like he's going uh, Wii Fit Trainer here, and Korean uh, sticking to Wolf. I know he's been playing a lot of Banjo, but uh, looks like he's opted to go with Wolf in this matchup. I know he said this player, uh, this character is a little lame <laughs> in his opinion, but uh, sometimes you got to be lame just to get that dub. Now, uh, Ace here getting off that deep breathing. Hey, he's got quite a lead right now. And, oh lord, what a spike. It looks like maybe we're going to have someone else off on the mic with us. Tempo, how I'm, are you doing? I'm doing good. Uh, what's your name, by the way? Jack. Jack, nice to meet you, Jack. All right, so can't leave my man Jack here on commentary alone, but Rockstar Ace having a very substantial lead. I mean, only having 127% on his first stock. I mean, it's not healthy, but he's still two stocks up. Yeah, he went for a wild uh, down air read off stage and got a spike at uh, 50 from Korean, so uh, that was pretty crazy. Ooh, and that was a really bold uppy right there, neutral right there. Korean kind of lucky that Rockstar Ace just wasn't expecting it, so he dropped shield, but yeah, yeah that's kind of the awkward thing about Mika trainers that, you know, a lot of strong hitboxes, you know, they, they do a lot of damage, especially with deep breathing. Like, you can easily get 60 to 70% off of their combos, but so they're just really awkward, like, hitboxes, you know, like where they're positioned, like how long they're out. So it's one of those things where if you're not fighting against Mika trainer a lot, you are going to get hit by a lot of things and be like, oh, I end up, we can control out a hitbox in that area that quickly, you know? Especially that back air. That back air comes out like frame three, it's ridiculous. Yeah, we think Turner is definitely one of those players that characters that doesn't see a lot of representation. So uh, it's a matchup that can for sure take you by surprise. I think Wadi plays this character in two times. at times, and he's used it to steal games from two people. I mean, it's definitely one of those, like, Really good, like, pocket pitch where, like, if your opponent has no idea what they're doing, they're probably going to get bopped. And yet again, you have to respect that back air. You know, it's a quick out of shield off. It's a, it's a fastest out of shield off. And, and, you know, like, it killed. It's quick. It's safe on block if you drift it right. Like, it, it does everything. Yeah, very good move. Um, I was sort of wondering why uh, Rockstar Ace wasn't deciding to go uh, Samus. Like, Guys, I mean, I feel like shown that this character is very good. I feel like Wii Fit Trainer is his primary character, and then Samus is like the secondary. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. I feel like Smash 4 is playing a lot of Samus, but I feel like he's transitioned into Wii Fit Trainer a little more, though. Right. Okay. Definitely. Just, I mean, he does pull out the Samus. I feel like they're like co mains, or like maybe like 55 45 like co mains, where like I see him pull out. The, the Wii Fit a lot more, but if you're going up against like certain characters that like can get in like super close, super quickly, like Max, or if you, or if you just have a really good Samus matchup, like he'll probably go Samus in those cases. Okay, well, yeah, we're seeing a uh, Rockstar Ace utilize this duck a lot just to kind of get around that annoying pesky projectile that Wolf has. And again, that's nice snare to grab and. Yet again, that's a lot of things that a lot of people have to respect about Wii Fit Trainer is just her pressure off stage. You know, you think like, oh, she's off stage, like I can edge guard her, and then she throws out the soccer ball, and you realize, oh wait, I actually have to respect that. And so usually by the time you block it or you jump over it, Wii Fit Trainer is already at the ledge or in a position where she can get the ledge and you can't really find it. Yes, that move actually has a lot of hitboxes, including a spike hitbox. So if you can go, if you go out to punish it, there's a chance you might just die. Yeah, I'd love to see how the Wii Fit Trainers use, utilize the Medicine Ball, just canceling the uh, second hit of it and then using one of their moves to just kind of put it in a way that uh, the other player won't suspect it. I mean, that Medicine Ball is its so powerful for like how fast like it goes once it gets moving, you know? Or even then, like even when it's like the slow hit, like you hit it with like Forward Tilt and like it pops it up and it kind of like bounces in the air for a little bit, it's still a strong hitbox. You know? Yeah, definitely. Ooh, nice parry, oh, nice. gets him to grab, and I love what he was trying to do. He was waiting for the option of the tech. If he sees, like, okay, if he doesn't tech, I can get it up there. If he does tech, then let me see if I can punish it afterwards. But, you know what, cleaning it up right there for Korean Park getting that up stack when she's overextended just that little bit. 
This character Rico Trainer has some wonky hitboxes on the PC. But she has that F so she has a hitbox behind her as well. Getting that hit. In there. Yeah, you like to see him go for that a lot, because if they normal get up or if they roll, then it catches both top ends, so. But yet again, wonky hitboxes are not gonna be enough to stop Wolf's raw kill power. You do have to find that kill eventually, and you know what that down here is one answer for it. You just have to time it super precisely. And I love what Korean's doing there, using the reflector to be like, okay, I'm not gonna get edge guarded by this move, so I'm just gonna reflect it and like not deal with it. And the high recovery is not really working out. I, I like mixing up the recovery, you know, that's what something you always do, especially if you have very linear recovery like Wolf, is that you have to kind of mix it up. But unfortunately, you gotta also pay attention to like where's my opponent, how is he going to react to where I'm going to go. I got worried when I saw that there. It could have been hurt the Korean there. Um, but, oh, but that is going to be it anyway, unfortunately. Yep. Uh, and sorry to head down, but I got one in the next. So. Okay. Yeah. yeah, unfortunately for Korean, uh, of course, uh, maybe me showing a little bit of bias there, but.